New at 6 and only on 5. Cleveland's new Waste Commissioner has only been on the job for a few weeks and he's already getting an earful, not just from city leaders, but from residents as well. Only on 5 tonight, investigator Jonathan Walsh learned what's going on. And Jonathan, people are upset with the new ticketing system. Absolutely, and that's certainly not all. We've been documenting problems with the Waste Collection Department. And for the past couple of years, some of those problems run pretty darn deep, including employees not showing up for work and now a new ticketing system raising some eyebrows. The new commissioner certainly has his hands full. Why do you got to try to um, rip us off with extra stuff like this? Lael Montgomery is angry. A lot of people I know in different neighborhoods are going through the same thing. It's so, it's so aggravating. He's right. Really, I can't afford to pay that ticket. Being on a fixed income. Margaret Cheney on the west side, $350 ticket. Lael, two $100 fines. It's all part of a recent change in trash ticketing that some Cleveland City Council members tell me is not targeting the right people. We're trying to go after abusers. Councilman Jeff Johnson says that's what's supposed to happen. Instead, he says elderly people, for example, who leave an extra bag out are slammed with big fines in a city where one third of its residents are at or below the poverty line. And the last thing City Hall needs to be doing is um, taking more money out of the pocketbooks. So I don't think it's right. Yes, ma'am. They're I'm paying. All right. We are paying to have our trash collected. Collect it. I got my hands on video of a recent committee meeting where Councilwoman Donna Brady went after the Public Works Department and the new Division of Waste Commissioner Paul Alcantar. I asked several times for an interview with Alcantar, who's been on the job for a little more than a month, but I was denied. Uh, I'm trying to evaluate the whole pro the whole mm -hmm. operation. Uh, it's going to take me time to evaluate this and get a report together so I can give it to my director. City leaders told me there was a grace period of six to seven months where they were giving out warnings first and then tickets. City leaders say they sent information numerous times about the new system, including how to put out bulk items and more. We gave literature to everyone first. Uh, that's the first thing we did when we changed the policy. Now, the city says it did a direct mail to every single person in the city. I didn't get it. I didn't get nothing. And now, people like Lael want action taken on trash troubles. I just hope they just change this. This don't make no sense. It's not right. Now, council members approved the new ticketing system, but could now change it or perhaps even get rid of it altogether. The new commissioner says he will have his first report done on the entire system by the end of next month. We'll stay on top of it. I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5.